NASA has a history of remarkable breakthroughs that have found their way into our daily lives with innovations such as CAT scans, memory foam, and the insulin pump. However, NASA's recent achievement in solid-state battery technology may prove to be the most game-changing of them all. This innovative development has the potential to revolutionize commercial aviation, particularly by electrifying 90% of the industry. So, what exactly makes NASA's latest battery breakthrough so remarkable, and how significant is its impact? Are solid-state batteries truly the future of electric mobility? Let's delve into these questions together. You might wonder why NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Agency, is delving into battery research. The answer is grounded in NASA's mission to design and build aircraft and spacecraft that are both lightweight and high performance, making power-dense energy sources an absolute necessity for these vehicles. Throughout its history, NASA has been at the forefront of developing energy-dense and powerful energy sources, which initially included research in rocket engines, gas turbines, and rocket fuels. However, as the world is transitioning towards electric propulsion, NASA is now focusing on the development of batteries. But what exactly do we know about NASA's most recent battery project, known as Sabres? Approximately four years ago, on October 1st, 2019, NASA initiated the Sabres project, which set out to create solid-state batteries for applications in commercial aviation and urban air mobility, including electric planes, air taxis, and flying cars. The primary objective was to create a battery that surpassed traditional lithium-ion batteries in terms of safety, efficiency, energy, density, and durability. Sabres stands out due to its use of a solid-state electrolyte as opposed to the liquid or gel electrolytes found in conventional lithium-ion batteries. This solid-state design not only enhances safety but also promises improved performance. To understand the significance of this innovation, it's important to grasp the fundamentals of how batteries function. In traditional batteries, you have three essential components, a cathode, an anode, and an electrolyte. The anode stores energy, while the cathode receives the electrons released during battery usage. The electrolyte serves as a barrier that prevents short circuits and enables ions to move between the anode and cathode. Traditional batteries commonly use an electrolyte that is a flammable salt dissolved in an organic solvent which poses a fire risk. In contrast, solid-state batteries feature a solid electrolyte eliminating the flammability associated with traditional batteries. What's particularly advantageous for aviation is that Sabre's solid-state battery boasts a broader operating temperature range, eliminating the need for complex and energy-intensive thermal management systems. Now, let's delve into the specifics of NASA's Sabre's battery technology. The battery's anode is composed of metallic lithium, offering superior performance when compared to the graphite or silicon anodes used in traditional lithium-ion batteries. The cathode is a composite of sulfur, selenium and selenium sulfide compounds, combined with a patented porous graphene material known as holy graphene. The selection of lithium sulfur chemistry is grounded in its high theoretical specific energy promising nearly three times the energy density of conventional lithium cobalt oxide batteries. One of Sabre's groundbreaking features is its solid-state design, which enables bipolar stacking. This means that cells can be stacked back-to-back -back without the need for external wiring or individual cell housings. This innovation reduces the weight and volume of the battery pack, increases the system voltage, and offers flexibility in cell arrangement to accommodate various aircraft shapes. In terms of energy density, Sabre's battery achieves approximately 500 watt-seconds per kilogram, which is nearly double the energy density of typical lithium-ion batteries. Furthermore, when it comes to volumetric energy density, Sabre's battery reaches over 800 watt-hours per litre whereas lithium-ion cells only achieve around 500 watt-hours per litre. This means that Sabre's batteries are approximately 40% smaller in volume while offering the same energy capacity. So, how could this technology potentially reshape commercial aviation? 
To explore this, we examined the Boeing 737, one of the most popular commercial aircraft models. Replacing its engines and fuel with electric motors powered by Sabre's batteries poses some challenges due to the battery's specific power density. While Sabre's battery technology offers impressive energy density, its power density, or the ability to deliver and receive power quickly, still lags behind top lithium-ion batteries. In the aviation industry, the ability to provide rapid power for takeoff and other critical maneuvers is crucial. Sabre's current power density may limit its feasibility for long-haul commercial flights like Trans-Pacific routes. However, it could still find applications in shorter regional flights, which make up the majority of commercial air travel. Nonetheless, Sabre's solid-state battery technology has sparked interest and investment from various companies including Toyota and startup Linton. Toyota is developing its solid-state battery, aiming for commercialization by 2025, while Linton aims to create a lithium-sulfur solid-state battery similar to NASA's Sabre's concept. These developments suggest that solid-state batteries have a promising future, although challenges like power density and cycle life still need to be addressed. In summary, NASA's breakthrough with Sabre's solid-state battery technology has the potential to reshape the aviation industry, especially in short-haul flights. While it may not immediately enable Trans-Pacific electric flights, the technology offers substantial benefits in terms of safety, energy density, and reduced volume. The future of electric mobility in aviation looks promising, and NASA is playing a crucial role in advancing this transformative technology. In conclusion, NASA's strides in solid-state battery technology represent a significant leap forward in the quest for cleaner and more efficient modes of transportation. While there are still challenges to overcome, such as power density and cycle life, the potential benefits are undeniable. Whether it's the electrification of commercial aviation, urban air mobility, or even improvements in electric vehicles, NASA's Sabres project and similar endeavours by other companies hold the promise of a greener, safer and more sustainable future for us all. As we continue to explore and innovate in the realm of advanced battery technologies, we can look forward to a world where the skies are filled with electric planes and our roads are graced by electric vehicles that are lighter, cheaper and safer. NASA's involvement in this exciting journey is a testament to the agency's enduring commitment to pushing the boundaries of science and technology. Thank you for joining us on this journey of discovery and transformation. If you found this information valuable, be sure to stay tuned for more updates on groundbreaking developments in science and technology right here. Remember, the future is electrifying, and together we're shaping it.